Hello everybody, that is here. I'm very happy to see everybody on the other side of the screen. I'm back into making YouTube reviews and tutorials and today I would like to speak about Esbesher 2 Glass Reservoir. Glass Reservoirs became very popular subject recently. A number of manufacturers announced either they're going to make glass reservoirs or they already released a few. So the latest uh, companies that joined those glass reservoir introduction is um, Alpha Cool with Esbesher 2 model. And um, it, I think it makes sense to make at least some references to heat killer tube version of this reservoir because it's probably one of the best on the market and still probably the best on the market and also the one that I'm using myself so I have a personal experience with this one absolutely love it but today we'll speak about this one so you can see it's like for visual appearances they kind of similar uh, this one looks a little bit more bulky but when I measure it it's only five millimeter bigger so it's just a kind of visual appearance that is kind of a little bit bigger than heat killer but um, it's very similar type of design. The reason for that is that you can't really make a successful threading on, on a glass in order to put cups on it. So how those reservoirs are made, you basically have uh, cups on both ends with O-rings that uh, screw together and compressed so it creates a seal. So with heat killer, you have a screws on both sides of the post, bottom and top, while with this one, as I can see, it's a single screw on the bottom that uh, goes all the way through and they get uh, compressed top and bottom of the reservoir, creating the seal. Both models, well, I speak more about this one. So the, the model is a 4D5, so any D5 pump will fit in the, on this particular reservoir. You have this plastic bracket with a bunch of screws that you can bolt the pump body to it so it will be pretty standard obviously when you put pump in the motor of the pump will start sticking out so the question of the mounting unlike heat healer which requires you purchase separate bracket and you you choose which one you want Esbesher provides you with a multiple mounting options the first option will be those legs that bolted on the bottom of the reservoir on the sides and the lift reservoirs up so the pump body is not pushing on the bottom of your case you can choose the height two different sizes and you just put it on bottom of your case or maybe it could be a radiator or fan as well I assume with some additional brackets because the spacing spacing less than 120 millimeters but nevertheless so that's first option or mounting it uh, on the bottom of the case. Second option, you have a universal bracket for 120 and 140 fans. They bolt it on the back of the reservoir, on the top cup and the bottom pump top. And that allows you to mount the reservoir either on a radiator or on a fan or case itself if you want to. The position of the bracket fixed because uh, the basic goal is just those pre-drilled and pre-tapped uh, positions on the reservoir with the heat killer the bracket that mounted on the post itself uh, the bracket can be mounted anywhere there so give you a little bit more flexibility comparing with this one not necessary to be disadvantaged but nevertheless uh, there's a difference between two for the mounting the options that you have for inlet and outlet. You have inlet and outlet on the bottom, but if you want to, you can have a, continue to have outlet on the bottom, but inlet can be one of those three ports on the top. It's whatever one you want to use, doesn't matter. Inside of the reservoir, you have those anti-vortex uh, fountain effect tubes, which I'm personally not big fan of those because the holes inside of the tube are pretty small, so, so they will restrict your flow rate, which I'm usually not a big fan of. But if you don't want to use them, you can actually disassemble the reservoir and take them out if you want. One thing that, uh, as a part of the criticism, the one thing that I don't like about um, Alpha Cool products lately is that they come up with those um, flash mounted stop plugs that are not sticking out. 
So they're absolutely the same level as anything else. They have them on radiators, now they have them on, on the reservoirs as well. But the fact because they have to create a like, new way to seal the system with those stop plugs, they have to reduce size of the of the port that those plugs are attached to. So if standard quarter G port, it's about like 11 millimeters. Uh, this one is only seven, so it's even further reduce your flow rate. Quarter G already a limiting factor. If you use a big fitting, like 16 millimeter fittings, they still get attached to the port, so everything get funneled in the size of the quarter G port. In this one, you have even less uh, water wave for, for the liquid. I'm big fan of high flow systems. So for me specifically, uh, it's a little bit of a disadvantage because I'm trying to achieve the highest flow rate as I can in my system because it's, uh, it's helped a little bit with temperatures depending on your configuration. Also, equalize temperature across the components better than you have a water moving faster. But nevertheless, there's a couple uh, features that kind of puzzled me. I tried to look through documentation, but I can't figure it out. Uh, they have some mysterious uh, filter system inside of the reservoir. I assume that this liquid going through the reservoir will be go through this little mesh. There's no clear explanation what is about at the manual or web page. So I, I can't quite sure what this is all about. Uh, and again, the question is how you clean it if it get clogged because um, unscrewing reservoir quite a little bit of the work. Uh, you basically uh, can't do it in easy way. You need to take it completely out, drain it and disassemble. And um, the other questionable thing that we have is um, in the manual, it have an interesting comment that we recommend only clear cooling liquids and no UV. So why no UV? I really don't know. Uh, I never actually saw this kind of limitation before. So for whatever reason, they don't like to have a UV liquid in this uh, reservoir and that maybe you need to keep it in mind if you, if you choose one of those. And um, maybe I'll try to find out more from uh, Alpha, uh, Alpha Cool why they, they have it, but that's a little bit of puzzle right there. So the last feature that also different from the heat killer, it's already have integrated light inside of the reservoir. I, again, I'm personally not very big fan of lights in general and specifically in the reservoirs, especially because the strip is in kind of inside of the housing and totally trapped. So whatever heat LED will produce, it will go transfer directly to the glass and goes to your water. So if you lights on and it's fair for this product or any other product on the market, you will start heating your system. So if you creating water cooling system to you know cool your system and make it run with lower temperatures, this is counterproductive. But desire of people have as many lights everywhere, it's reality. So this product has this light that you can be connected either to optional separate controllers that are not part of the this package, or they provide you nicely with an adapter cable and you can connect it to your motherboard and control it from your motherboard or any other standard controller. So that's what's uh, in nutshell unboxing and quick overview of the features of this particular product. Uh, it's good to have options. It has a nice uh, pricing points comparing with heat killer. I got a, like both sizes, 15 millimeters and 200 millimeters version, which I wanted to show in this video, but except the sample, I have all of them sold like in two days. So, so definitely it's a big interest to this particular product, which is nice. Thank you very much for watching. I see you soon.